Escalating concerns about the coronavirus in China as the death toll continues to rise. And U.S. health officials now try to reassure Americans the risk here remains low. Here in Michigan, the test results on three local patients have come back negative for coronavirus. However, a sample from a fourth possible case from Washtenaw County was sent to the CDC for testing today. Those results may take days to get back. Kimberly Gill here with the very latest on the efforts to contain the virus in China as well as here in the United States. Yeah, indeed. Good evening, guys. U.S. health officials say they do expect more cases in the U.S. to be confirmed, and they're asking people who have traveled to the affected area to closely monitor themselves for symptoms. In China, more than 50 million people are now under a travel lockdown trying to stop the spread. Public health officials on alert with three additional cases of the new coronavirus confirmed in the U.S. over the weekend, bringing the national total to five. There so far has been no detected spread from the five cases to any of their contacts in the United States. That indicates that our system of isolation is identification and quick isolation is working. More than 100 samples from 26 states have been sent to the CDC for testing, and health officials expect that number to rise. So far, 32 have come back negative and five positive. All of those affected here in the U.S. had recently traveled to Wuhan, China, where the virus originated, and at least 80 have died. That city's still on lockdown, with some Americans unable to leave. Every little cough, every little thing, oh, am I getting a sore throat? Do I feel bad? Uh, those kinds of things, uh, you know, they start to play with your mind. Symptoms for the coronavirus include fever, coughing, and shortness of breath, similar to those for the flu. But doctors warn flu season poses a bigger threat to Americans right now. At the moment, our influenza problem is large. Our coronavirus problem, very small and so far contained. The best line of defense, basic hygiene, wash your hands and keep a safe distance from anyone who is sick. Yeah, the State Department raised the China travel advisory to a level three as a result of the outbreak, which means to reconsider travel to the country. So experts continue to debate whether people can spread the virus before they show symptoms. The CDC says they have not seen evidence of this yet, but caution, this is a rapidly evolving situation. So again, if you've got those symptoms, just try to stay away from yeah. people, keep your hands washed, and if you're sick, Stay home. That's very, very good advice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Thanks.